Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. If you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland, and um, I hope everybody's having a good one. Hope they're enjoying their Thursday. But anyway, before I go any further, let me tell you what we're doing today. We're doing these water changes. The last time I did these water changes a few months back, I posted a video. Hopefully you guys seen it, but if not, I'm going to do an update today. We're gonna to do the we're gonna do the water change again today. I'm gonna to make a little price list for you so you can see exactly how much some of these things cost, so you can try to do it for yourself. When I started doing water changes like this, it became a game changer. And I have a few big tanks, and this makes things so much easier. I mean, it took my water changes from dumping buckets and taking an hour, hour and a half, two hours sometimes, to getting them both done in 20 minutes, 30 minutes tops. So I want to share this with you guys. I hope you learn something. I hope you try it for yourself. And uh, if you do, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. And please drop some comments and share this video. But without any further ado, let's get started. Let me show you my uh, my water change kit. You could definitely buy like the Python or whatever if you want to. But I've said it before. I made a video on it. This is the best thing going right here. I'm gonna show you exactly why if you haven't caught that video. So all you need is a little tip. This right here will allow me to use it on multiple different types of sinks. So that's why it looks like this. But between that and buying this four-way valve, just it's just for four water holes. So this four-way valve right here, that's all I need. And grab a $15 water hose. I think this might have been like six bucks. This probably was like another seven. Water hose might have been like 14. I have two hoses. I'm going to clean or I'm going to do a water change on both of my 125 gallons at the same time. This should take me about a total of maybe 15 minutes. Um, so, like I said, this right here is the fastest way. And I don't have to suck on a hose to siphon out no water. I don't have to do anything. Once I plug this in, once I plug this into the sink, I'm going to cut on the water. I'm going to flash out all the air from the water hose lines. Once I do that, I'm going to cut off the water and then I'm going to open up the two valves right here. That's not attached. It's not going to be attached to the hose. Once I open up those two valves, all the water that's trapped in the line is going to act as a siphon and it's going to pull the water from the tanks. Once, once that's done, all I got to do is close these two valves and then make sure there's no water coming out and then cut on the water and the water is going to um, go back in. So let me just show you this. Let me just show you how easy this is. So we have this little aerator right here. Remove that. Take that. Put that on just like that. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put that on. But first, let me connect the hoses. To first, I'm gonna put one hose into this tank. Just like that. I'm gonna take this second hose and I'm gonna put it into this tank. Just like that. Be sure this is on there good because I have some spraying coming from output right here from the filters. So now, grab these two ends right here. Grab these two ends. I'm gonna connect them. Hold on. Had to get my tripod so I can use both hands. So, connect one to there, just like that. And all I did was just put these elbows on. I never have to take those off. Same thing with this one. So if I had 
a third tank, I could 100% put it into there. So I do have a third tank, but I don't do three water changes at the same time because the volume of that third tank is only 60 gallons. So it's half of what the other ones are. So next, I want you to see this. So next, all I'm doing is putting that right onto there, just like that. So these are closed. We open these up. And so all I'm gonna do now is cut on the water to purge the lines. So water on, you see the bubbles. Once the bubbles stop, that means water is going inside the tank. That means the lines are completely clear of all air. Come off the water, just like that, watch this. There you go. Now both tanks are, are siphoning and draining. So both, now both tanks are draining at the same time. That's it. That is it. I mean, you can't you really can't beat that. I'll, I'm gonna actually look online and get you the correct pricing on all the parts in order to make this happen for you. Because this changed the, this changed the game for me. This took my water change to a new level, made it easy. So now I can sit back and do whatever I wanna do. If you have some clean, other cleaning you wanna do in your tank, if, you're, if you wanna scrub the glass, if you wanna um, gravel vac, any of that stuff, you do that right now because all this is, is just a water change. But this is a very, very easy water change. So I'm gonna tap back in with you once this is done, when it's time to fill it back up. But it's that easy, guys. It's really that easy. So I'll check back in with you in a minute. See? See what I told you? I'll tell y'all. Look at that. So I think that's about it. So let me show you how, let me show you how easy it is to get this thing filled up. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna close these two. Cut the water in. I'm gonna open it up a little bit. So I can check the temperature, make sure it's pretty even. It's about right. It's about right, close it up. Close it up. And now they're filling up. And now they're filling back up. Come on now. It don't get no easier than that. It don't get no easier than that. Even with the Python, they don't get no easier than that. You can't even do two tanks with the Python. I'm telling you, try it for yourself. I'm gonna put everything in the, in the description. Let you guys know how much this, this, this um, the, um, the parts cost. And you could do it for yourself. Because it's that simple. It's that simple. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick back up this camera when they're done filling up. But I had to share this with you guys again. Just in case you missed it the first time. Just in case you missed it the first time, I had to share this with you guys. It don't get no easier than this, y'all. Two 125s done at the same time. Like I said, if you had three 125s, three 250s, whatever, it don't get no better than the attachments, the water hose, 
in this four way right here. That's it. I'm gonna check back with you in a little bit. I'm gonna let you guys see how long this takes. But um, that's it. I'm gonna get back with you when these things are filled up. Guys, it's been about, all right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes of filling up. And this is where we are with it. Like I said, this is one of the easiest ways of getting this done. You should certainly uh, implement this into your water change days and you'll be very happy that you did. And this, they're not even filling up at the same speed as you can see. So with that happening, I'm glad that's happening so I can show you exactly what you'll do in that situation. So as you see, I'm pretty much done with this one. Pretty much, almost there. A little bit more. I like to go to where the water is above this rim. I don't know why, but that's how I like to do it. So now that that one is there, this one needs a little bit more, especially since I have the turtles in there. All I do is, all I'm gonna do is close this one. So close that one, water's still going into this one. So I'm gonna let this one fill up to where I want it. And this one over here is just on hold. It's just sitting there. I could pull that hose out right now if I wanted to, but I'll pull the hoses out at the same time. This one is getting there. So I like to look at that level right there on the inside, see how much the water is going onto the turtle ramp. And that's, that's about it, folks. So when I'm done with this, all I do is cut it off, hose the valves, done, and pull these hoses out. Pull this other hose out right here. And then let me just show you how easy this is. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is connect this one and this one. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is disconnect this one. Disconnect this one. Lift up the holes. Let all the water drain out. And if you want, you can easily just want you could easily just do like this with the both of them and then so let me show you how you disconnect this Water's out. Pull that right on off. That's sitting right there. Put the aerator right back on. Done deal. So that is it. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Both water changes complete. Tank's just a little cloudy, but if you guys know, 
then you know. That's what happens when you do water change. It gets a little cloudy, but that's nothing. I'm not gonna look over there because of the glare, the reflection, you see everything that's back there. So just wanted to give you a quick little glance at it. All right, y'all, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're willing to try it for yourself. Like I said, it'd be a game changer. Um, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, The Fish Corner. And until next time, peace.